First Lady Margaret Kenyatta this morning opened a school in Kibera here in Nairobi and she's just given an address. Let's listen in. Here to celebrate a dream come true because for years the parents and students and all who wish them well have wanted a place in which our daughters could study and make the most of their talents. Today we are here to commission that place and to celebrate this opportunity to transform the lives of our daughters. First, let me thank our host, the Shining Hope for Communities Organization, Shofko, who have made all this possible. I applaud your selfless service. I have seen firsthand how your work with the communities of Kibera as well as the neighboring communities of Mathare, of Mukuru, and Bangladesh have borne fruit by investing in the future of youth through innovation, ICT, and reading centers, you have changed lives. Your work in promoting self-reliance for women and men through the financial empowerment program, and equally, in improving access to health has left thousands of people financially stable and healthier. Just as your innovative water distribu distribution system has brought fresh water to many who lacked it before. Let me also recognize all the donors, the men and women of goodwill, the organizations that saw the work to be done and lent a hand to support this worthy cause. As I toured this remarkable facility, I saw that a lot of work has been done to invest in our girls. Since the establishment of the school in 2009, the institution has become a true model for learning in the country. I congratulate you for ranking within the top three schools in the area for the past years. I also congratulate the first graduating class of girls, students of 2017, for their remarkable Standard 8 performance last year. We all want the girl child to have a better future, and this school that we are commissioning here today is giving her that chance. Yet much remains to be done, because we cannot forget that there are still girls who deserve these opportunities and will need our help to get them. Not only because such spaces as these are limited, but because the reality is that there are still barriers which hold back our girls and prevent them from making the most of their talents. Too often we hear stories where our daughters are not given equal chances. I'm grateful to be here today, not only because I fully support all you have done, but because I truly believe that you have embraced the effort to empower our girls and protect them from social exclusion. And, I, and, and that you appreciate the power and promise of education. That is why you have so readily participated in developing your community and fervently support the school project by giving the land. What remains for us is to stay committed. I urge us all to rededicate ourselves to the responsibility of educating our girls, to find ways to expand the number of places at this institution and to find answers for the girls whose education has been delayed or disrupted, but I hope not ended. Let me encourage our girls here to make the most of the opportunity here, to nurture your talent and reach for the stars. So many of your sisters have longed for such an opportunity but have not found it. Now it's time for you to strive for excellence in your academic work and in developing your character too, so that you become the women you are meant to be. I've been so impressed by the services offered here. 
that I have enrolled as a Shofko member. Where's my card? <laughs> I was assured I'd get it before I leave. <laughs> As your newest member and partner, I wish to donate a Beyond Zero mobile clinic and a laboratory to supplement your medical services. <laughs> 